In the WRC2 support category, Oliver Solberg was keen to make up for his Ypres rally retirement, which robbed him of victory on the final day. Things started well for him on Friday, leading by 6.4 seconds after stage three. But disaster struck on the very rough stage four. A suspension issue forced him to stop for the day. Mads Osberg had a nightmare start. A front differential problem cost him almost five minutes on stage two. He managed to limp on through to stage five, but he was unable to fix the issue and lost nearly half an hour. Rally over. Andreas Mikkelsen is trying to extend the 11-point class lead he holds over rival Osberg. He'd competed here multiple times before and was using that experience to end the day in second place. On Saturday, Nicola Gryzian was having an enjoyable day at the wheel of an M Sport Ford Fiesta. There was even a bit of laughter inside the car as he power slid through the corners. Gryazin was in third place, but unlikely to get involved in a really hot battle for the win on Sunday. Andres Mikkelsen led the WRC2 support category from the beginning to the end of Saturday's stages, where he then lost it. He won a couple of tests. Perhaps he relaxed too much. He leads this title race. And rivals Osberg and Solberg are having major troubles. Third in the championship fight, Marco Balassia pulled out all the stops on the final stage of the day, admitting he'd been too safe as Saturday started, and that was the reason that he'd let Mickelson get ahead. Balassia led Saturday night, but there was only eight tenths of a second in it. The support category continued with its twists and turns on Sunday. He'd been fast, he'd been dynamic, but former WRC2 leader, Balassia, got his timing wrong this time. He'd given everyone a run for their money in the support class, but one guy, well, he still couldn't deal with him. Andreas Mikkelsen. He got out of the blocks quicker than the Bolivian in the morning, he grabbed the class lead back, and he won the category leader's third win of the season, and with a new co-driver too, in Elliot Edmondson. Looking really good, looking really positive. I have to say, Elliot has come straight into the car, done an amazing job. Uh, I think it's a great team result, one and two for TalkSport. They have prepared the car perfectly all weekend. No issues, and I think also we drove very clever, haven't hit one stone this weekend, so very happy with the performance. The Norwegian's victory margin, 16.7 seconds. Balassia in second place, third went to Nikolai Gryzin. Watch WRC Plus on all devices, WRC Plus, all live.